All right, Aries, welcome to your reading for the first half of March, 1st through the 15th of 2018. Yeah, let's get straight to it. So, Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And uh, let's talk about what's going on for Aries. First half of March, 2018, so that would be March 1st through to the 15th. Aries, Aries, Aries. I have a lot of Aries in my chart. Um, my North Node is in Aries. And then I have two other planets in Aries, uh, including Venus. Um, yeah, so I tend to I tend to resonate with Aries quite a bit. <laughs> Just throwing that out there <laughs> in case you were wondering. All right, Aries, what have we got for you? First half of March, first through the 15th. Aries, Aries, Aries. Okay. So, for your overall energy to start, Aries, you've got, oh, you've got the Five of Cups. You're dealing with some sort of heartbreak here, um, some sort of loss. Uh, you're in kind of a mourning period, some of you. Honestly, though, if you're in this period of, like, mourning over some spilt milk, crying over some spilt milk, I don't see you staying there for very long, Aries. You're too headstrong. You're like, all right, enough. Let's move on. You know? Okay. We also have the Hierophant. And we have the King of Wands. Ooh, wow. We have the King of Wands. So you're showing up here, Aries. And you have the Ace of Wands. And I believe this is why you're not staying in, dwelling in that morning energy for too long. Because there's some brand new inspiration coming through inspiration maybe about an earth sign maybe a taurus uh maybe another fire sign um but also maybe some like spiritual inspiration um maybe even something having to do with conventions conventional systems I kind of with the five of cups energy i kind of feel like you want to break away something happened Aries, then you're like, you're really stepping into your fiery power and being like, nah, this isn't going to stand anymore. But let's see what we've got. We've got the Queen of Pentacles. And we've got the Three of Cups. Ooh, third party situations. Queen of Pentacles could be another Earth, earth sign. So we're talking um, Taurus, uh, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, other than that, we're talking about a person, whether male or female, that embodies the Queen of Pentacles energy, or at least you see as embodying the Queen of Pentacles energy. So uh, loving, nurturing, holds, knows how to hold down the home, um, is a good uh, parent, is a good spouse, um, is stable, you know, is ready to go through it. I feel like. Either there's a third party situation going on, like you have a third party situation going on with um, this person that embodies the Queen of Pentacles. And maybe they are the extra person. And for some reason you're wanting to, I, for a moment there, I felt like some of you might be wanting to move closer. Like maybe maybe want to be wanting to take that relationship to a new level. Um, maybe... Maybe there's someone involved that you kind of want to, I'm getting some sort of marriage vibe here because the Hierophant can speak to marriage. You're really passionate about something. It's just the five of cups energy is throwing me off. Maybe you are married and your spouse is involved in a third, third party relationship. And that's what you're mourning over. Um, in that case, you might get over it fairly quickly, depending on the circumstances, or maybe you are the one having the affair. Um, and you're feeling remorseful about it. Maybe they found out. Hmm. Moving forward with the story. Ooh, wow, the Queen of Cups. Interesting. There are a lot of queens showing up here. And the Page of Wands. Okay, so an offer. You want to make an offer towards this Queen of Cups. Um, I, I'm getting, I'm getting 
that some of you that uh, what the story that's developing here is like some of you Aries have been playing the field for some time, which is talking about this three of cups energy. You've just been out there having fun um, and, you know, dating a bunch of people. But now you're getting to the point where you want to start settling down. You're a little conflicted about it, by which is being depicted by the five of cups here. But um, you're wanting to settle down. But I think where most of the five of cups energy is coming from is you're having to choose now. Like you're getting to the point where it's like, okay, I have to make a decision and I know I don't want to. I've been avoiding this for a long time, but I have to do it now because I want to settle down. And either you have two options here, one of them embodying the Queen of Pentacles, one of them embodying the Queen of Cups. So maybe you're in between an earth sign and a water sign. Or this is the these are the qualities that you're looking for in this partner. Like this is what's helping you make the decision. One of the, the Queen of Cups being a good stable home body, or at least someone that can hold down the home, the fort, while also being intuitive and nurturing and caring with the Queen of Cups. But you want to make your offer to the Queen of Cups, or maybe you're seeing there are two people in your life. One of them is the Queen of Pentacles, but she's he or she is the partier. And the other one is who you actually want to make the offer to, being the Queen of Cups. Again, please don't get wrapped up in gender roles here. We're talking energy. So just because we're talking of queens here, they could be men. Just because the King of Wands is here, it could be a woman. Okay? Moving forward. Death. With the Five of Swords. All right, so the Five of Cups energy is come, is becoming a little more clear. You're going through a death period. Like, I feel like your party days are coming to an end, Aries. But you're kind of fighting tooth and nail about it because it's almost like you're not ready or you don't feel like you're ready for it. But the universe is kind of like saying, no, you are ready for this and it's going to happen. Or maybe even your higher self is saying, no, it's time for this to happen. Um. But also what I'm getting here, death is symbolizing the end of Five of Swords energy, the end of, and you know what, honestly, as Aries, Aries, you can find yourself in Five of Swords energy very quickly because you're very headstrong, you're very intelligent, um, and you're aware of this. And sometimes you um, get into positions where you're fighting with someone just to be right when you in the end, it's kind of a losing battle because what do you need to be so right for all the time? You know? So that could be, for some of you, that could be what's coming to an end. You know, this, some of this five of swords energy in relation to a certain situation. I don't think it's like an overall thing. I do feel like it's in relation to a certain situation, but also I think it might, it may even be you are, uh, you're coming to the end of this defensiveness of your lifestyle that you've been living lately. And now you're, you know, this is part of the process of you moving out of that. And of course, you're going to enter some sort of five of cups energy in mourning this old self that's dying away. But understand it's for your, it's for your best good, really. <laughs> your highest good. It's within your best interest to go through this and release this part of yourself. And if this applies to you, settle down, make a decision, choose a partner. Moving forward. Oh, look, we have the King of Cups and we have the Devil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is some real debauchery going on here. The King of Cups, when he's reversed, is very promiscuous. Um, it's very much into drugs, um, alcohol, indulging in things like that. And I feel like a lot of you have been in that situation and now you're moving away from it. You're fighting tooth and nail, but you're moving away. Yeah, you're moving through it. Ten of Swords, see, Ten of Swords, it's ending. This mental state is ending. This, whatever you've been in, it's coming to an end. With the 10 of, look, yeah, endings. 10 of wands and the 10 of swords. You've been overburdened. In, the, in some cases where you've just been out dating a bunch of people constantly, it's just like, a, I, I'm hearing a revolving door of dates. That's done. Those days are over for you. And it's not because, in some cases, it's because you have to. 
But in some cases, it's because you want to. You just don't want to deal with that anymore. You want to settle down. You want something stable. And I keep getting the settling down situation coming from the Hierophant. All right? That's where that's coming from. Sorry, my phone's blowing up. Finally, for you, Aries, we have the moon. Oh, with strength. Okay, so the moon is... There's some illusion around you. Yeah, there are some things you don't quite understand. You can't really see too well. Some of you may be going through a dark night of the soul situation. Um, but you've got strength. And you may have a Leo in your life, which is depicted as the strength card. Um, you may be able to get some serious help from that Leo. Um, I'm also being guided to remind you to utilize your intuition because the moon does talk about intuition. Yeah. Draw strength from your inner spirituality, from your inner self. Um, draw strength from knowing that your intuition is not going to lead you astray. Okay. So while you're dealing with this illusionary time, while you're dealing with this dark night of the soul situation, um, your intuition is going to be your greatest ally. Okay. And the universe has always got your back always got your back. You can always draw strength from the universe, no matter what the transformation is that you're going through. Okay, Aries. So there it is. That was the first half of your month. And I will see you guys for the second half. Love you all. Take care. Bye.